Hi, my name is Eustace Leon Greaves Jr., the owner and principal of the Bridge Insurance Agency and Greaves Financial Services here in Brooklyn, New York, located at 651 Bergen Street. I want to thank you for taking a few minutes out of your busy day to spend some time with me, and I plan to make it worth your while. The issue today is flood insurance. Yesterday I had the pleasure of adding a new flood insurance client, and I want to thank Clarence Cleves of the Bridge Street Development Corporation here in Brooklyn for sending the young lady to me for flood insurance. And she lives in the Canarsie section of Brooklyn. And I told her, I said, it's a great thing you're doing now because they are, FEMA is currently remapping this area. And that means every, every place on Long Island, everywhere in this region, FEMA is remapping it. And what's happening is is right now she is still in what they call an X zone and that's a zone where you're not supposed to have a flood except maybe once every 500 years if you're lucky or unlucky and for that she got the she was still qualified for the preferred risk policy because she had six feet of water in her basement after Sandy Superstorm Sandy in 2012 she didn't have flood insurance she said let me buy it now her premium for the year is going to be $460. Now, I said, you know what? Let's just think a moment. I want to see what it's going to cost if you waited, or it would cost if you waited until, um, you know, they remap your community of Canarsie, and perhaps you're in an AE or a VE zone. An AE zone means that they expect you to have water, you know, flood damage at least once every 100 years you have a 1% chance of flood damage every 100 years which actually in a cumulative basis works out to once every 26 years during a 36 a 30 year mortgage rather I'm sorry so a VE zone means that you have that and you have the the added impact of wave action against the house due to your proximity to the coast so I we did the four hundred and sixty dollar quote. She took that. I said, just for the heck of it, let's play, let's play, let's play, let's play a little bit. I have a computer. Let's see what it would be if it was an AE zone. Now the same policy, the same coverages, two hundred and fifty thousand on the building, one hundred thousand on contents. And remember, contents in the basement, you know, the big screen TV, the uh, the, the home office, things like that are not covered under flood insurance. Again, under the preferred risk policy, with a $1,000 deductible on each, was only $460. So somebody might say, well, gee, only? Okay. If, it, if, the, if her zone is remapped into an AE zone, and I'm going to write more about this on my blog, brooklyncovered.com, in the next few days. If she gets rewritten into an, a remapped into an AE zone, the premium will go to $4,280 almost 10 times what it costs for the preferred risk policy and the minimum deductible you can have will be two thousand dollars same amount of coverage almost 10 times the cost and ladies and gentlemen understand this once your community is remapped your bank if you if you have a mortgage from a federally chartered bank your bank is mandated there is a mandate that they must contact you and get proof of your having flood insurance within 45 days that they send you the letter. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't know a lot of working people out there today who just have $4,000 sitting in the bank, money that may be more than the real estate taxes on their house for the year. So after we both went, my, my goodness, I said, hey, let's see what it would be if you were in a VE zone. 9,200 and change. She said to me, Mr. Greaves, are you serious? I said, I'm going to send you, I'm going to email all, all this stuff to you. And again, I'm going to be, I'm going to be going into this more intensely in my blog, brooklyncovered.com. I said, now, this is reality. So somebody who waits to buy flood insurance, who now finds out they have to come up with $10,000 a year, that is going to be the next major foreclosure problem. That's the next foreclosure crisis in our country, ladies and gentlemen, in those areas that are close to coastal. 
community that are that are coastal communities, those areas that are near lakes, rivers, streams that become raging rivers if there is a downpour. The only solution, the only protection you're going to have to protect yourself against these increased costs will be purchasing flood insurance. That's it. There's no other way to get around it. Once the federal mandate goes in, you're done. You don't pay, the bank takes out the insurance for you. Either way, you're going to pay. Let me say it again. Either way, you're going to pay. So she said, gee whiz, Mr. Greaves, even if they don't finish remapping for the next five years, and I pay about eh, $2,000 over those five years, I'll still come out ahead. Listen to the client thinking now. I'll still come out ahead because that very first year when it gets remapped into just an AE zone, I'll have to come up with 4200 and change. This is how you have to start thinking about things. This is how you have to start thinking about insurance, ladies and gentlemen. There's no other way to it. And the other reason for me making the video this morning, look at today's on page 14 of today's daily news. Feds pile on sandy grief. They're looking, they're, they want now people to give back some of the FEMA money they received because it was paid in error. You have one guy here who um, got a letter from FEMA asking for nearly $17,000 back after his Lindenhurst, Long Island home was destroyed. And he claims that he was paid too much because he and his 70-year-old father both applied for funds while living under the same roof. That's his home in Lindenhurst. Do you think he has $17,000 to give back to FEMA? Do you? Do you think he does? But the problem is this. FEMA said that as a federal agency, it's required by law to seek recovery of improper payments. Do you think maybe, maybe this time we could forgive these improper payments and let people live and find a way to try to help them? Now, there's other things in here where his parents were supposed to take out a flood insurance policy as, as a condition of getting these funds and these grants. But these people are in, oh, this is great. These folks are in, um, they're in a nursing home right now. They're in a nursing home. But the phones are starting to ring. I just wanted to let you know, buy flood insurance. Think about what you're doing. And, um. God bless you, God keep you, and may God continue to pour out his richest blessings to you and those you love. Take care.